Welcome to USMLE Preparation Playlist. In this playlist, we'll talk about concepts which are high yield and short. It would be very useful and informative for your preparation. In this installment, we'll talk about T cell activation. T cell activation requires antigen presenting cells like dendritic cells which can encounter pathogen and engulf them. After engulfing the pathogen, Dendritic cell displays fragments of these pathogen or antigens on class 2 MHC molecules. Eventually, dendritic cells are motile so they would move to the nearby lymph node where they can interact with CD4 positive T helper cells and they display their antigen on a class 2 MHC molecule. Eventually, it leads to activation of the T helper cell. Let us look at how T cell activation take place. There are three important signals that triggers T cell activation. The first signal is MHC class 2 and interaction with the T cell receptor that give rise to the signal 1 for activation. The second signal comes from the interaction between CD8086 and CD28 present in the T cell. So this give rise to signal 2 and the signal 3 comes from cytokines such as interleukin 2. Interleukin 2 binds to specific interleukin receptors and give rise to the signal 3 for activation. Thus, a combination of three signals lead to the activation of T cells. Once the T cells are activated, they enter the cell cycle, they proliferate and eventually they would be differentiating into different T helper cell subgroups such as Th1, Th2, Th17 or let's say memory T cells. If you want detailed video, you can always click on the i button or description for more details. Get more notes and flashcards in my Facebook and Instagram page. Feel free to support our channel using Paytm, PayPal or UPI. See you in next video.